Hi everyone, Jeannie Ben Isri from Legal Logic. Uh, as you can tell, we're at WeWork. We've changed up the scenario a little bit. Um, got got our WeWork's co coffee cups filled to the brim. Uh, I'm here with Patrick Byrne, and in light of Business 360 that's happening on Thursday, Saint Gasset here at WeWork PVM Montreal, um, I had the opportunity to speak to Patrick, learn a little bit about his profile, what he was doing in the community. One of the newest members in WeWork Montreal. That's it. So as you're soaking it in, um, I, I'm glad that I was kind of a part of your, your canvassing of the area. That's it. So what really struck me in our, our earlier conversation was your profile going back to kind of the, the, the traditional corporate world. Yeah. How you used to live in the US, mm -hmm. how you've come to Montreal and consider Montreal your home. And what I think was really important is what the community can learn um, from your profile and what you're doing um, you know, with startups and the broader business community. Sure. So Patrick, tell us a little bit about your corporate experience and we'll get to know you a little bit. Sure, I mean, I'm originally from the US. I now live in Canada. I'm a dual citizen here in, in Canada and in the US. After you know, a career in digital media and then a career for about 15 years in the corporate world, um, doing corporate development, so M&A transactions, uh, as well as sales management and global business development, I decided to start my own consulting practice two years ago. And that practice is M&A advisory and sales development for early stage technology companies. Mostly in digital media, um, virtual reality, video game development, those sorts of things. Um, I joined WeWork this past month simply because I love the philosophy of a co-working space and I actually find that WeWork has upped it even another level because it's more about building a community beyond the building. It's not just the building, it's the community and the interaction that people can have together. So fundamentally, I reached out to you just to start to learn and sort of understand the people that are in the building, the people in the community, and how business people are trying to grow and scale their businesses. That's fundamentally the reason I'm here and it's super exciting to be here. That's great. That's, um, you mentioned community. You mentioned um, a lot about what you do for, for businesses. You mentioned tech particularly. Yeah. So coming from a more traditional kind of M&A role and then called, you know, use all kinds of fancy words earlier. Uh, but what, I, what I'm really interested to you know, really share with everyone is um, taking what you've learned from that, that, that corporate community, mm -hmm. how do we apply it to this new community sure. that we work yeah. And why should entrepreneurs, not only we work, but all over Montreal, all over the world, why should they be calling you? And uh, what can you bring to the table that they don't realize? Sure, sure. I mean, I think there's a couple of things. First of all, any business transaction, be it to try to find initial funding or to grow a business or to re refine a strategy or an M&A transaction requires two things. It requires fit, strategic fit and timing. So to make any sort of transaction or any deal work, it's about having the right strategic fit between yourself and somebody else and about the right timing. And what I bring to the table is the personal relationship development that needs to happen to find that investor, that strategic buyer, um, that initial lighthouse customer. Um, to me, I work really personally with, with entrepreneurs, partially because I have the corporate playbook experience about how to do that, but also it's also about just making sure that you have the right strategy and then building the execution of your strategy to create the most value for your business. You, you, you nailed it. Execution, for me, is where I see a lot of the startups that I counsel, mm -hmm. from a legal perspective, mm -hmm. fail. So they can't execute the sales, they can't um, get their foot in the door for their, for their, for their key demographic that they're building their, their app or whatever for. That's it. Um, so tell us a little bit about the execution. How do you come in to assist or to kind of help them mm -hmm. to give them the kick and the you know what yeah. to make sure that they get that for that first lighthouse client or, or whoever. Sure, look, I think everybody has strengths and then areas that they need to develop, right? So if you're an entrepreneur with a great idea, it's because you had a great idea that you potentially became an entrepreneur. I think where I can potentially help somebody is by sort of refining that idea into a strategy that then you can then go out and and work to build value in your business. It's about It's about knowing what you do well versus what somebody else does well. And it's it always boils back down to personal relationships. You need fit, you need timing, but business is about personal connection and personal relationships, regardless about how you sell or who your customer is or what your target market is. 
So I think where I can really help is refining the strategy, building a personal relationship, being invested with you as an entrepreneur, sure. and then creating enough value that somebody's going to be interested in investing more in your business or acquiring your business. I mean, that's that's where a lot of entrepreneurs I see really want to get. They may not know how to get there, but you know, by having professionals like either myself or yourself, we can sort of help mentor, coach, and guide people to get to that end. You know, I'm looking at this cup that says, uh, always do what you love. And I, I think that's the kind of the slogan that we see all over the place. And you talked about kind of coming in at a certain point and assisting entrepreneurs. So a lot of the startups, I'm sure you could relate, a lot of the people who found companies mm -hmm. have a love for one specific thing. Could that's be code, it. could be food, animals, it doesn't really matter. That's it. Um, and you mentioned kind of coming into a system. Mm -hmm. How difficult do you find that uh, to give up that control, which is often a painful process. Sure. How do you deal? How do you, uh, you know, what advice would you give someone who's kind of learning to get rid of that sales cycle and really to focus on doing what you love, which could be the coding um, or the business development or whatever it is? I think a lot of it is admitting where, where your strengths are. And sometimes a lot of that is, do you have a strategy? I think if you have a strategy and you know what you can fulfill personally, what you could bring to that strategy, you'll also also identify where the gap is. The gap might be in, in sales, or the gap might be in marketing. You know, for example, I'm not a marketer by trade, I'm a business development and an M&A professional. So to me, I would need marketing to make my business be more successful. Okay. Right? But once you have a strategy and you kind of know what your strengths are and you know what areas you have gaps in, it's easy to then go search, particularly in an environment like this. I mean, this is how you and I started our conversation was, hey, here's the things that I do. Let's sit down and figure out what the things that I need help with are. So um, as, a, you know, as a final sign off and people who you're looking for and who would be a good lead for you and who can take advantage of your skill set, mm -hmm. um, would it be fair to say that anyone who's looking to, to do a raise mm -hmm. in capital uh, intros to you know VCs and other you know potential uh, uh, lenders, mm -hmm. and uh, would it also be fair to say that anyone who's looking for an exit strategy, mm -hmm. anyone anyone else that that could be a good lead for you? anybody else that basically does business to business but needs lighthouse customers or needs somebody just to develop um, business to business sales. Good That's stuff. where I find early early steps now. So Patrick Byrne, five zero, he's going to be with us. Thursday, we work Business 360. You guys should reserve ASAP.